Hey, what's up guys, VFX Bro here. We've got a new tutorial plan. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the hologram effect. We've got all of our footage imported. We've got our backplate, our green screen footage with Zach and I fighting. We're gonna go ahead and bring the backplate into a new composition here. We're gonna run through it on the timeline. We can see we've got that. Now we're gonna take our green screen footage and bring it into a new composition as well. So we've got those two compositions made. We're gonna rename them here. So we got our main comp and then we've got our green screen footage. Your main comp can be anything, any kind of backplated footage that you want to add your hologram people into. We're gonna go ahead and use the key light effect here, drag it onto our green screen footage, select the color of your green screen. We're gonna bring up the gain here. It doesn't have to be too crystal clear because we're gonna be making this to a hologram effect, so you can't really tell um, if you've got some kind of spill going on to the shirts or bodies of your subjects. So now we're going to draw a mask here right around our subjects so that we can get rid of all of that nonsense over in the background. We finished that mask here and now we're going to just select this and we're going to go ahead and add a saturation filter and remove all the saturation so we're making these guys nice and black and white. So here we have the VFX Bro and the Final Cut King made into a black and white and they've been keyed out. We're going to take that and bring it and make a new composition here and now we're going to make a new solid by hitting command Y. We're going to make it nice and blue here and we're going to use the overlay of soft light here. So now we've made our VFX Bro and Final Cut King nice and blue. We're going to select these two files by holding shift and hit command shift C. We're going to make a new composition out of these two files and we're going to call it layer blue and now with that selected we can drag on our previously existing footage and we're going to change an alpha mat so now we have keyed out that footage with the blue overlay added. We're going to go back to our main composition here and we're just going to drag that onto the top. There we have it. And now what we can do is actually make this a time stretch filter and we're going to make 75% so we're going to make these robots move a little bit faster because they're fighting here and um, it's just going to add to the effect here. We're going to go ahead and take this clip here and drag it into a new composition. This is our static footage and this is what we're going to be using to really give it that hologram feel. So we've dragged that into a new composition we have that static there. You can extend the length of that if you need for your clip. And we're going to drag that on top here. Now we have that static footage dragged on top. You can download all of this in the description. And we're going to change this to our Luma mat. So now we have made it so that our green screen footage is being displayed in a pattern that is the exact same as our static footage. Now we're going to shrink the size of this because we want to make these guys a little bit smaller here. So we have shrunken our hologram little fighter guys and now we're gonna go ahead and go layer new solid and uh, we're gonna make this nice and blue here very nice you can obviously change this for the purposes of your video and now we're gonna add a nice circle mask around that blue layer here we can go ahead and turn that view back on and we're going to go into our mask settings and feather this out a bit. And let's go to the add mode. So we're using an add composite mode to make our figures glow. We're going to feather this out even more, perhaps expand it a little bit. And now we're going to go to our opacity and bring down the, what we're going to do is we're going to add a, an expression to our opacity filter. So we're typing wiggle right parentheses 5596 not sure if this is the exact parameters that we want let's take a look here after having applied that we're going to hit command D and duplicate this solid layer we're going to move it over to the right and then we're going to hit command shift Y and we're going to change this to a red color nice red orange color we've changed that so now we have this new solid layer that's red makes um, the VFX Pro glow in red. We're going to offset a little bit here by moving it a little bit to the left so that we don't have the exact same flickering. 
really quickly here, we're going to go into our green screen composition and change the frame rate from 24 frames per second to 12 frames per second so it's a little bit more jittery, a little bit more strobey, uh, which also adds to the effect. Let's go ahead and render through this here in our main composition and take a look at how our flickering of the lights looks. And now, just from rendering it through here, it looks like there might be a little bit too much of a change in opacity um, that we can see in the glowing effect that's surrounding the VFX Pro and the Final Cut King holograms. So after we take a look here, we're most likely going to kind of make this a little bit more mild through our expression control. Okay, so running through it, yeah, it looks like the flickering is is pretty pretty extreme. So we're gonna probably gonna want to smooth that out a bit here. So let's go ahead and go back into our expression controls, and with the select, we're gonna go back into our wiggle, and we're gonna change this number down here. On both of them, so let's or let's go ahead and solo this layer so we can kind of take a look at what is what's going on here, and that looks a lot better. Um, that's a quick way to render through this is by soloing the layer allows us to render through our footage a lot more quickly. Let's go ahead and change the opacity expression control on our red layer as well. We're going to put that at 20, and now if we render through this, we have a much more smooth effect, and it looks pretty nice. So. So yeah, that's the hologram effect. Again, I'm gonna be leaving a link to the download of the project files as well as the static footage, static noise footage. So you can go ahead and use that for your future projects. And yeah, this has been VFX Bro with a tutorial in the hologram effect from the Final Cut King Battlegram video.